Hi everyone, my name is Portia McCurdy and my research is on analyzing E. coli concentrations in Sinking Creek due to normal and inclement weather conditions. So first of all, why is this important to us? Our water quality throughout the U.S. has been steadily deteriorating and one factor causing that is agricultural runoff. A problem with agricultural runoff is that we have E. coli, which is a fecal coliform found in the intestinal tract of livestock. And when we have E. coli, we can be exposed, well, we can have problems such as intestinal tract infections, diarrhea, and some strains can even result in death. Another factor contributing to our surface water impairment is soil erosion, as you, as you can see in the image. When we have soil erosion from natural processes, that occurs and impairs our stream water, but we can also have soil erosion due to overgrazing by livestock. So when we have overgrazing, we lose our soil stability because we don't have the roots to hold it in place. This results in higher turbidity rates and higher levels of total suspended sediment concentrations in our water. This negatively impacts our vegetation as well as our aquatic species because they can't receive the necessary nutrients that they need to survive. In the next image, I have my study site, which is Sinking Creek and its proximity to ETSU's campus. I received this image from the Tennessee Department of Environmental Conservation website, where it included various other bodies of water that are also impaired. So just to reiterate, this is not just a national issue, it is local, and we are directly affected by this when we go to these bodies of water for recreation. So my plans will be, as you see in the final picture, are to deploy data loggers where I can monitor the total suspended sediment concentrations in the water, as well as the TSS, as well as the turbidity concentrations. I will collect water samples where I can monitor or test for E. coli concentrations, and I expect them to be related to each other and that they will increase depending on inclement weather conditions. From this research, I hope that we can implement better land management practices in the future so we can reduce our impairment to our bodies of water. Thank you.